start your morning the right way. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be a good day. This is Jason Lauren on Melbourne's Nova 100. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Monday. Good morning, Melbourne. How are we all? Good morning, everybody. Not bad. Not bad. Big weekend. Lot, lots oh, on. Wasn't it a big weekend? School, it was easy. Sport and Mother's, Mother's Day. Day and all those sort of shenanigans. I went to the Chumpy Pullen Foundation dinner on How Saturday was it? night. It was great. It was great. Yeah, it was, was. I bumped into some of your friends there. Oh, did you? Yep, they'd bought a table. They'd been following Elodie Pullen's journey and decided to come. Celeste, Tiffany. Something like that. Yeah, right. Gotcha. Very glamorous. Yeah. Were the girls um, working or just yeah, having a good Just a night? table of ghosts from the past. <laughs> yeah. No, oh. it was great. It was great. Really, really good. Tell Clint he owes me. <laughs> <laughs> We've shut down his tab. Um, oh, that's good, Lozzie. Yeah, yeah it, it was great. great. It was a really nice night, actually. At Crown. Did Elodie speak? Elodie made a beautiful oh, speech. Oh, nice. She's um, so impressive, isn't she? The yeah. amount of calls I had on Friday... From people going, oh, I can't believe I, I would have come in to meet her. I My know. nieces are visiting from Brisbane this week, and they're like, oh, if only it could have been last week when Elodie was in. Yeah, we've got to get her in again. She'll be sound asleep. Now it was her birthday yesterday, so she went oh, from yeah. the, the foundation dinner to the big oh. birthday party yesterday. Um, but, yeah, it was really cool. We had Elodie and Minnie in on Friday. We'll uh, we'll try and get them in again next time they're in town. Speaking of sleep, um, our executive producer, The Thumb, Brody. Mm-hmm. What's he done? I had a missed call from him. He went to uh, the Geelong game. Oh, Friday night. Port and the Cats on How Friday was it? night. The Cattery under lights. Oh, it was good. Was it? Yeah. What time did the game finish? About 10.30. 10.30, right. Because I had a missed call from you at 3.30. Oh, that's <laughs> Awesome. Early. Where that's were you? Early. Home house or some such venue in Geelong? <laughs> Just walking the streets of Geelong at this point. Oh, oh that sounds safe. You should yep. be walking right. the streets of Geelong. Now, because you're a Port Adelaide supporter, and at the cat- the cattery can oh. get a little bit, you know, wild. Well, what, what, was it, what was it like being a Port Adelaide supporter in the Adder? They didn't love the fact that I was there. Yeah. yeah. And I've never seen more signs saying, please don't throw your cans on the field or at the players. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Yeah. It's a salient warning. Did you, did you abide by the rules? <laughs> Not on this occasion, Were no. Were people throwing their cans at you? Yeah. I was getting some feedback that uh, I wasn't being appreciated. That, no. <laughs> oh, you would have been an absolute pest. And congratulations to Tom Hawkins, who equaled the most amount of games ever played by Geelong Good player. Good on him. Good on him. I, which it, means next week, I've got a feeling he'll be rested this week. Um, the week after, he'll break the record. What's going on at Tigerland, mate? Look, I mean, we're definitely, we've got some injuries. We've had our glory days. We're going to start rebuilding. Benny Gale has to step down. He's off to Tassie, the yep. CEO. It's time for change. Give us a few years. We'll be back. A few back. years? What yeah. do you reckon about you being on the board? I mean, Me. like father, like daughter? Um, well, she actually, I was talking last... to someone about who wanted to be on the board of a football club recently, and they said you actually have to have been a director of a company for X amount of years before you yeah, can be Yeah, it's in the constitution. Yes. Also, I think you have to watch the games. I was trying to get Lawrence. Not necessarily. Some people are just there as like, you know, team spirit leader. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I was trying Morale. to get Lauren's mum to go on the board at Melbourne and then the joke fell flat because she goes, well, I'm only doing it if you're doing it. We oh. should she run did as a tell ticket. me that. We should run as a ticket. I'm like, oh, my oh. God. If you two join the oh. Melbourne board. Imagine the alcohol bill. <laughs> yeah, forget that. Oh, good old Lizzie. She had a good time with us on Friday at our Mother's Day lunch. We're going to talk about that next, Chase. Yes. Um, and then I came home to find out how the school Mother's Day lunch went. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, good... yeah. There were a lot of sore heads on Saturday oh, morning from school Mother's yes. Day lunches, I think. There was indeed. And a few stories going around on the group chat as I well. Bet. Um, I bet. Hey, uh, Sam Pegg and Tom Gleisner is going to join us this morning in the uh, first 20 us. minutes. Um, early. Yeah, very early. This will be the first time Sam has come into the Nova Studios before 7 a.m. Oh, yeah, he used to start at 7, didn't <laughs> yeah. he? I'm still trying to work out how I get that in my contract. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> uh, we've got 5000 bucks up for grabs this morning, just for answering one simple question. And after 7, we think we have found Melbourne's hottest tradie. And we are going to introduce you to him this morning here on Nova. Hey, uh, thank you again to Strato for hosting our Mother's Day lunch, our single Mother's Day lunch on Friday. It was great. Oh, very high end. The food was lovely. My mum Liz came. She had an absolute ball. I had her in a Nova hat, had her carrying all the flower decorations home. Good work. She looked like a promo Did girl. you go raging on the town afterwards? Did not. Oh. Big yeah. thank you to she like she was up for it. Anthony Collier and Tim Campbell as well. They oh. were awesome. Now, you guys snuck out a bit early, but by the... It was like mum's gone wild by the end. They're up dancing on the tables. They're on the bar. Mm. 
They were great. They were so good, those boys. They're so entertaining. I had to duck out early because I had to do school pickup because my wife was at the school Mother's Day lunch. Mm. <sighs> Isn't what that happened? A, that's a loose event. Well, Is I came it? home and it looked like a car yard at our place of all the mums parking their oh, that's cars. that's fun. They obviously got ready at ours and all left together. So I've come home and there's all these cars parked out the front. And I'm like, this is not a good sign. It means the after party could be back oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that was your biggest fear. Yeah, it was. So I sent, a, I sent a quite a stern text saying, hey, no after party. Why? Well, because like. It's Mother's Day. Yeah, it's not your them, day. Give them somewhere to have fun. Let the mums have some fun. Oh, they had fun. Apparently there was mu- one mum handing out her child's ADHD medication. Oh, yeah. That's a new thing, I think. Yep. <laughs> ADHD. Yeah. Medication. I think people are into that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, one mum got a little bit loose and was talking about how she's um, uh, how do I put this? Um, trying a home remedy for skincare mm. by splashing her own urine on her face. Nah, that ain't it. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that's not true. This is some of, some of the chats that were going around. Yeah. That's not true. No one's doing that. Okay, I'm just, I'm just cl- sorry. Hang on, where uh, on the face? <laughs> that's not true. Well, I mean, that's no. got another name, but it's not skincare. Yeah, no, apparently it's skincare. <laughs> yeah, this is. So some of the I was getting debriefed by a, a number of the mums over the weekend that I'd see it like the school. Well, that mum woke up on Saturday morning going, "Oh God!" Did I actually say Why that? Why did I tell that story? What about the other mum who's got the ADHD kid who doesn't have any tablets anymore? Like do, do mums really go loose at these school mothers' they day do. lunches, don't what they? What did Blue do? She didn't was come she, home. She wasn't allowed well, to bring Luce, her friends home. Blue's the one me, with the skin Luce, there. <laughs> Luce get, sent me a text at five thirty. Say, hey, Dar, having a great time, but I think I'm going to call it soon. And the text was a little bit blurry, like slurry. Yeah. And I was trying to get the two-year-old down. I'm like, do not come in at 6 o'clock and have the two-year-old see you because they'll be like, you know, let's go. Mom's let's home. Go. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, hey, babe, you know, whatever. Go and just, do your skincare regime just, yeah, somewhere else. Just, right? just give me a half an hour to get the two-year-old down. So that was at 5.30, nothing till 9.00. So she really yeah. took that half an hour. No, well, she she's put the text out to see if she gets the leave pass, and she's oh, going. Okay, oh, she sure. can have the leave pass. Go or you, you yeah. go out till five, and then roll. Nine in. o'clock's a good time to finish lunch, I reckon. Oh yeah, she rolled in at nine, quite quite happy. Leathered. Yeah, and a couple of. So other who months. hosted the after party? Well, Not- I don't know. I think everyone sp- ended up splitting off Dispersed. because by nine o'clock it started getting a bit messy. Yeah, but were they still at lunch at nine? Yep. Lunch started, That's a good lunch. Lunch started at 11.30. Yeah, moms. <laughs> Don't the girls do, um, they do like sort of cosmetic parties these days. Yeah. What? Oh, sorry, should. I'm a girl. <laughs> Don't know. Don't they all meet up like Tupperware parties, oh, cosmetic yes. parties. Do they? They should do Yes. That. Who's yeah. doing that? My, my sisters Can used to host. stop stroking your face? That's also <laughs> not how you put cosmetics on. <laughs> You're patting yourself on the head. Who's, who's doing, doing, piss on my face, who's doing Tupperware and cosmetics? Who's doing Tupperware and cosmetics? Snaffle? Well, again, what, what is you going want? on here? Hello, Snaffle. Sorry, I Jesus. haven't heard about Snaffle. We just got a Snaffle ad. In the, is that a cosmetics company? <laughs> is that what it's <laughs> What just happened? Something played off one of the computers. Oh, it's Monday. Have we got gremlins in the system again? No, we're clear. Anyway. We're back. We're back. All right. Hey, Have um... you guys heard about Snaffle? I don't know. <laughs> hey, coming up. Uh... Snaffle. <laughs> Our next two guests work together so much, they've started to bicker like a married couple. Before this show started, you had long flowing locks and was a sexual dynamo. <laughs> <laughs> look at you. Look at you now. You're barely no, even alive. <laughs> only invited one of these guests. The other one just woke up and drove hair out of habit this morning. Apparently they used to work hair or something. I don't know. Please welcome to the studio Tom Gleisner and Sam Bang. Lads, good morning. That's the correct billing. Thank you very much. Good morning. <laughs> morning. Wonderful to see you, Laura. Clint. Okay. Hello, Sam. Hello, Sorry, Tom. I'm supposed to give, bring more energy, aren't I? Is that right? <laughs> well, like I was saying to you off the air, and we, we spoke about it earlier this morning, this is very unlikely to be yeah. on Nova pre-7 because that was your deal back in the day, wasn't it? He used to do seven till nine. I'm going to uh, need to get some details on how you wrangled that. It was known as the Mick Malloy clause. <laughs> yes. Mick started in breakfast radio years ago. I think Mick showed up at about five to nine. And uh, <laughs> so ever since, anyone who's had any leverage uh, has uh, put that into their uh, radio Smart. breakfast radio deal. M- M- Jace, Monday to Thursday was the key. That, that was the big oh, one. That was, that's that, that, right. was, that was the one where Mick goes, oh, mate, you just, you know, that's just, that's beyond the pale. See, fr- is, Fridays are much. fun. We treat Thursdays like a Friday around here. Okay. So Friday, yeah. Fridays are fun. Yeah. I used to miss Fridays because yeah. it would be naturally... 
everyone's happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Monday's the day you want off. Our shows are loose on a Friday. I took, I took enough Mondays off too, Jack. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, guys, congrats. You're coming into the 12th season and mm, have you been 12. paying attention? That's a lot of seasons. That's, that's a long that's time. That's a lot for Channel 10. <laughs> well, Channel 10. Well, in fact, the show's still <laughs> around. A, that's that, the 13th look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, We've that's, already shot it. <laughs> <laughs> How's ten looking? Is more the uh, more the question we should be asking. But uh, yeah, mind you, we, we that's slight false credit because the first season or two of Have You Been was was pretty short, over half hour shows mm. on a Sunday afternoon. Was it a Sunday? Sunday? Oh, they mm. ran. We, yeah. we began. Remember what was our lead in, Sam? <laughs> One time. <laughs> the first eight episodes, the lead-in was a David Attenborough documentary. Great. Mm. See, I'd watch that. There was, no, well, a lot of, more people did. <laughs> <laughs> then they turned off when the... When I appeared. Yeah, when Tommy came on. And then we saw it, there was an, the last, one time there was a last, the last scene of an Attenborough doco was an ant pushing a dung, dung hill. Piece a, of dung a, up, a, yeah. Piece of dung, piece of... Poo. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up a hill. Yeah. And and I think either Santa Chalara or Tom pointed out that that was kind of a metaphor for our show. <laughs> <laughs> that was our lead in. Yeah. Hey, we're on at 5.30, yeah, like for shopping. half an hour. Well, you're against postcards. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, we oh. hit ahead. Like. Two, two of the big guns. <laughs> All the hard-hitting shows, Sunday 5.30. Did you outrate them on a Sunday? No, I doubt it. <laughs> so, you, you would have back then. Was, was Pangy part of season one? Yeah, Tom? yeah, from, the, from this foundation member. Why, why have you, you think... done them all? Yeah, absolutely. Why would you think that? It, why, I just well, came you said in. you rocked up half the time yeah. when you're on Nova, so I wasn't yeah, sure. Like, why do you think you needed Fridays off radio? He was exhausted. There's gotcha. A, there's a couple of segments. Sometimes in the first seg of this show, I'm a bit quiet. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just warm, warming into warming it. Warming up. Yeah. No, and good. then after the ad break, you're wearing a totally different outfit. You yeah, guys exactly. just cut him in. Listen, we're, we don't, we're, you know, we're happy to talk about ourselves, but how are you guys going? You know, with the new we're building employed. and the new job. And oh, the new, we're yeah. so happy, oh, Sam. Yeah, We've actually never been happier yeah, to getting, walk in like, here. Like getting an upgrade, basically. Yeah. yeah. Getting upgraded on yeah. a plane. Everything right? works, yeah. yeah. Everything yeah. works. Everything works. I describe it as going from working for Saddam to Mother Teresa. That's nice. Yeah. But still not getting paid. Um <laughs> That's an understatement. Um, hey, who's appearing on the show tonight? Well, us, uh, Sam, myself. Yeah, I gather that. that. That's not enough. <laughs> yep. That's not enough, Tom. Who else? We've got? Okay, we got Aaron Chen's flown in from New York, the fabulous Aaron Chen. We've got Emma Holland. Lauren doesn't know who he is. <laughs> yeah. no, Aaron yeah. Chen is yeah. a funny, very, very he's, funny he's, man. He's got, got the glasses on, the big he, glasses. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's in he, Fisk. He, um, Watch Fisk. Oh, I've Fisk. seen Fisk. He won the People's Choice at the Comedy Festival. Like the, that's the that's the real award. You sell out. You sell the most tickets. Yeah, that was right. Aaron. Yeah. Um, Anne Edmonds, Anne Edmonds uh, Ed Cavalier, uh, myself, uh, Emma Holland, uh, and who's the special guest? Our special guest is winner of the Jungle Show, um, Sky Wheatley. Who's oh, a, oh, she's yeah. a mega she influencer. She won a lot of people over on that show, though. She's, what is she she's influence? Huge. What is she? What, what well, sort she's of got like millions of followers, I think, and I think everyone thought she was just some ditzy girl, but she actually was really sweet on that. Well, Lauren, I, I looked her up, and that's not oh. weird. Um, <laughs> uh, and I, there's a photo on TikTok of her standing next to a stepladder holding a power tool. I was one over. <laughs> Get her on. Oh, oh you moved on. How do you decide who gets a run on the show, though? Oh, I like to speak to them personally and have a little bit of a <laughs> bit of a chat. Just research. Uh, Sam, should Tom be on TikTok? Oh, no, it should not be on TikTok. <laughs> do you have you your own not... TikTok? Uh, it's does. run for me. <laughs> <laughs> do you not know how to log in, well, Tom? No idea. My that's, thumbs are too big. That's genuine power. If you don't yeah. even, you're not even, you, someone manages your social yeah. media. An yeah. assistant. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm what not... are you posting on your talk? Um, gee, I've, I've, you know, I've only tools. done, I'm going to do, Laura, that I'm going to do one of those ones, where you, it's called Get Ready With Me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What? And you show your fit. <laughs> That's it. It's What's... a fit. It's called a fit check. Just, just be careful. Remember, was it Daryl Braithwaite that oh, yeah. accidentally posted a photo of himself on the toilet? Oh yeah, last year. Yeah, remember that the <laughs> selfie. I'm... Just no, but deleting I'm glad I missed things. it, by the way. <laughs> I, that's, I, look what I'm missing out on. On selfie cam Maybe by I should accident. Get on it. Um, yeah. Well, look, have you been paying attention? Guys, congrats. 12th season. That is massive. Uh, it premieres tonight, <laughs> 8.40 on 10 and 10 play. <laughs> Lads, thanks for coming in. Great yeah. to see you. Thanks, thanks for having, having us. <laughs> Ripping day yesterday. Uh, good was. weather for a little Mother's Day picnic. Yes. What did, did you have a picnic for Mother's Day? Uh, no, we uh, decided to opt for the table and chairs. Oh. We did. I did. Did you a do big... breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Because yes. there's many sittings for Mother's Day. I was in uh, under the cover of darkness, waiting for Hampton Bakery to open to oh, get yeah. uh, croissants and little pastries. Oh, oh, you did the breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast in bed? Um, no, she wanted to get out of bed. Thank God, because croissants make quite a mess. Oh, in they bed. do. They're very flaky. I had that's a, a lot of crumbs. Very flaky. Yeah. I had you a need a dustbuster on Saturday. Did you? 
Paul went to the gym early and came home with a coffee and a croissant. And I was like, I'm going to have this in bed and watch Clint on the Today Show. No. Well, oh, it sexy. looked like a croissant had been massacred in my white <laughs> sheets by the time yeah. I got up. Croissant is Bad a idea. no for bed or no for the car. Yeah, I agree. Um, but Mother's Day, it is a beautiful, hectic day. We did the two o'clock late lunch, early dinner set up. Great. Mum hosted it. She was insistent she wanted to do it at her house. We hadn't done like a a big lunch at mum's house for a while. So we were like, no problem. We'll all bring, I did dessert. Oh, bring a plate. Did you go to the cheesecake shop? It wasn't really bring a plate. No, funny you say that. Is that a Queensland thing? Paul goes, we should go to the cheesecake shop. Yeah, it is. It's a Queensland thing. I was like, no, I don't want to go to the cheesecake shop. (laughs) Why? You can get half. Do they they just do cheesecakes What do you mean you can get half? You don't have to buy the whole cheesecake. You can just buy half. And they take it out the back and chainsaw it in half. Can you get a half half? Yeah, like a You can get a quarter. Because you get four quarters put into one whole cheesecake. Oh, like a a quarter of caramel, quarter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, variations. Yeah, you can. Don't say why not. That's good. That's solid from the cheesecake shop. I'm pretty sure. I'm not speaking on behalf. I'm not an ambassador or anything, but I'm pretty sure you can buy a quarter. Do they just do cheesecakes? No, they do months. Months? (laughs) Do they? Month cakes. Wow. Maybe a pav? A pav. I think they dip their toe in. Oh, I think they're doing smash cakes. I heard an ad. What's a smash cake? What's a smash cake? Oh, we get the hammer and the lollies yeah, are inside. Yeah. Oh. I didn't even know the cheesecake shops still existed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's anyway, living. Must be huge in Queensland because the two Queenslanders <laughs> in my life both suggested cheesecake shop. We must didn't, go. We must go. <laughs> we must we go. We must. So we didn't go to the cheesecake shop, but we had the two o'clock lunch and I thought, okay, I'll get up in the morning. Not so, super early. It was like 10 o'clock. Peak time to go to the florist to get the flowers. Mm. And now I'm lucky enough I've got my mum, I've got my grandma as well, my beautiful Nana Margaret. What time? Ten. Please On Sunday. Please tell me you pre-ordered. No. Nah. That's oh, that's like the, that's that's peak the time gauntlet. for those yeah. who have forgotten Mother's Day. That's, that's living. That's, and let me tell no, you. it's not living. Turns out everyone in my suburb was there at 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I wanted to get something for my grandmother. Uh, uh, shout out, Nana Marg who has just become a great grandmother who? because my sister-in-law and brother have just had a baby. That's right. So it was Steph's first Mother's Day also. Oh, so I wanted nice. to get her some flowers. Your nan Plus my looks mom. magnificent. Doesn't What's she? What's she 93? She looks yeah. younger than me. Yeah, yeah, she does. And that's saying something. Um, and so so I wanted to get four bunches of flowers. So I'm there and I'm like picking out. They weren't ma- made bunches. I was like, oh, I'll put some roses with this and with that. Mm. Oh, you're, making, you're getting them to make up a bouquet yeah. on Mother's Day? yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, they are yeah. a florist. That's what they're there for. Yeah, and I wanted to buy some for my auntie, but of course my aunties couldn't be bigger than my mum's or mum would have been filthy. Yeah. She true. birthed me. They yeah. had to be bigger. So I'm there. She and <laughs> So I'm there. I'm picked out all the flowers. I've paid for them and I'm standing there with this lady who's making the boat. Sorry, bouquets. is your mic playing? Is it, you hearing a buzz? I'm hearing a buzz. Yeah. Is that we're, the bees from the bouquet? Hello. No, we're back. We're back. Oh, okay. yep. weird. Anyway, I, the poor girl's standing there rapping. She looks at me with like glassy eyes and I said, are you okay? And she said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm a bit slow. It's my first day. At a florist on, on Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Mother's Day, Super Bowl day oh, for a florist. Oh, the poor girl was in a flap. And I was like, do you want me to jump in and help? I could wrap at me. I could I could wrap a flap. I'm sorry. You know, she's got the thing. She's trying to pull the, the spikes off oh. the roses. So what was her job? She, she the was the rapper. Line. Oh, so she did. She yeah, put it's a little... your microphone. Can you uh, bump your mic? Just give it a hit. Give it a hit. There, there you go. go. Okay, don't touch it. Um, can so we get can we get a technician, please? <laughs> oh, I can't hear anything. She was um, she was know. putting the plastic bag and the rubber band around the base of the flowers, Is and then the she tissue paper. Oh, she was wrapping it as she well. Was she should have been on the register. Oh no, she was wrapping. Yeah, she's no, right. wrapping. She should have been on the register. First day, would you do that to someone? No, she was a kid. She was like eighteen or seventeen. How'd she go? Oh, I just was like, you're doing, you're doing great, <laughs> <Hey>. sweetie. <laughs> was she wearing the? I'm training badge. No, oh, that's so oh, degrading. The on, the oh, on the apron, the badge of training. I just training? felt for her because there were three rappers and two of them were just flying through them. And this oh, poor yeah. girl was just, oh yeah. On the her training first day. badge is rock bottom. Would you do that? Oh. No, no, it's great. Oh, she should have just been on the register, and it would have been like mm. Debbie, eighty dollars. Yeah, here's your machine. Yeah. Did she attach the little sachet of... Um, oh, the salt. No, she was shoving them in paper okay. and throwing them out the door. You've got to have the sachet. But does it work? Does I the sachet I'm work? Really no, they sure. say you should put sugar in the bottom. Not the sachet. Or the sachet. Yeah. Remember to cut the stem on an oh, angle. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Every day. Like, bloody hell. You must have worked in a floor. What a first day for her. Shocker. That's a baptism of fire. Shocker. That's got to be the worst first day I have ever heard, but Melbourne, I want to know what happened on your first day at work. 13, 24, 10, how bad was it? What happened? Yeah, whatever industry, maybe 
maybe I got, I got stuck in a car park here, remember? That's right. I drove my car in and I hit the roof and got wedged in the car park on my first day. Maybe uh, on the job site, you had an apprentice absolutely butcher something on the first day. <laughs> 13, 24, 10. In return, I got six bottles of wine from Zonzo Estate. You can enjoy a perfect drop from the heart of the Yarra Valley. 13, 24, 10. How bad was your first day at work? Melbourne, give us a call. What happened? Because on Mother's Day yesterday, there was a poor girl at my florist trying to wrap everyone's flowers and it was her first Unfair. day. There were people lined up down the She's street. She's not going to get any better work experience. So not That's at all. pretty good. Oh, no, she quit. Uh, Sandra <laughs> and Doreen, uh, student nursing goes wrong. Uh-oh. What happened with you? Hello. Hi, Sandra. Hello. Well, it was my first day as a student nurse. I'm talking a very long time ago, and I was all of 18, and my first task of the day was to wash a resident, shower her. Right. Yep. Got all her stuff organised, her clothes, her bra and everything. Got through the shower okay with support from the senior nurse. Yep. And then I went to pass her her bra to help her put her bra on, and her prosthetic breast fell into the toilet. <gasps> her prosthetic breast fell into the toilet? What? I didn't even know what it was at what the time. Was it, no was it in the bra? It was tucked in, like she'd packed it away that oh, way. Oh, no. Is, that, is it salvageable? She thought it was hilarious. Pardon? She thought it was hilarious? She thought it was hilarious. Oh, okay. I was mortified. The Could... senior nurse was mortified. I thought that was the end of my career at that point, but no. Also, fishing anything out of a toilet is just exactly. like... It's so it was salvageable? You could yeah. salvage the breast? What do you just give it yeah, a... Yeah, 100%. We dried it off and popped it back in for the day. Oh, <laughs> just give it a shake. Yeah, when you just oh, you know that, what, though? No. As a nurse, anything prosthetic falling off on your first day would be... It'd rattle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'd rattle. You. 13, 24, 10 is our number. Ben from Karen, you're an apprentice carpenter. What happened? Uh, well, it was my first day, and uh, my boss thought let's stop studs to make the walls up, and he thought he'd put me on the drop saw. It was nice and easy to drop it down. Yep. And so we had a production line going with all this timber through, and one of them missed the guide and went off the back of the table. Uh-oh. And the guy had a reflex, grabbed it, and it had more weight, and it's rotated my hand up into the saw blade. <gasps> and oh! Halfway through my thumb. On your first day. On my first day. So... It was a nice trip of emergency. Oh, uh, you still got the thumb? No. Thumbs up if you're still all good. Still got the thumb. Right. They did a good job sewing oh, it all back good. together. So it's just a nice gnarly scar, chick stick. So. And did they ever let you live it down? Oh, it was like it was just me and my boss that day. And uh, but yes, yeah, so it was uh, very painful for the next few months. Oh, <sighs> having to go to emergency on your first day at work is embarrassing. Because yeah. you'd be like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, no, I'm fine. Yeah, you're I'm bleeding fine. out, mate. No, I'm your good. Your thumb's chopped I'm off. Good. No, no, I'm I don't think you're going to be fine. here tomorrow. <laughs> Juzzy in Bentley. Is this the Juzzy? Uh, Juzzy, the poo truck driver? Yes, that is correct, guys. How good. are we? We're good, Juzzy. Good morning, Juzzy. Oh, God, this, this story is going to be horrific. Yeah, what have you got for us, Juzzy? So, obviously, you guys know that I've done septic, and my very first had a hose split on me, and I got covered head to toe in septic. The Hang hose on. flicked it. Oh, like you know, with the garden and gardening oh, hose, yeah, when, when you goes... turn it on and then it like flicks out around like septic... a like an out of control snake. Yeah. But out of a septic tank. So you pulled it out of the septic tank and then it's flung no, around. No, I was pumping. I was pumping a portal and oh. the hose actually split. And... Oh, it split. Yeah, when you're pumping out a portal, you know. Oh no. Of liquid. No. Mm. And you were just covered in human feces. <laughs> yep. Mm. Is that a... Why, uh, did, ha, did you quit? <laughs> no, I stayed there. I, like, I stayed in what the do you mean? for st- about eight years. No, I, not you <laughs> didn't stay there on the job that day. Did you, What did you do? Did you go... Yeah, do you go... Do you, do you, you can't go get back in the car truck. wash or yeah. what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I drove home and uh, had a nice long shower. Yeah, but you can't get back in the truck. Yes, you can. You're covered in shit. Yeah, it's all good. It's no, it's not, no, it's not all good. good. No, that's, no. That's, you're driving with the windows down. Mm-hmm. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, you oh. don't even go in your own shower. That's a hose down. Well, you know job. what? You put on a poncho before you sit on the interior. No, and you I've, walk home. Do you know what? I've, <laughs> I'd walk home. No. I've shaken Juzzy's hand as well, which <laughs> means I've shaken a hand of shit. You've got poo hand. <laughs> poo hand. Danielle in Lang Warren, <laughs> you're on the air with uh, Jace Lauren and Poo Hands. What happened on your first day? <laughs> It wasn't actually me, it was um, someone, uh, I was there at the time, but um, so what happened was we have a tilt trailer, so you take something off, the trailer tilts up, put something back on, the trailer goes flat. Um, so his first day, he uh, he puts something on the trailer. So the trailer, trailer goes, goes flat. flat. Yep. Yep. Someone had their hand under the trailer, lost oh. all fingers. Oh. The, sheer, the sheer look on her face when she realised that something was wrong, she looked at me, I looked at her, I'm like, what's going on? 
She puts her hand up, no fingers. I'm like, oh, my God. All her no fingers got fingers. chopped off. No, yeah, well, not all of them, but tips and oh, wigglies and, yeah. No. And, and he, he, he was so oblivious because he had his back to us. And he was like, what's going on? And, oh, it was chaotic. Oh, That's horrific. my God, he chopped off his colleagues' fingers, all of them on the first day. But, Danny, I don't know if you heard, Clint's got poo hands. <laughs> <laughs> At least I've got fingers. Oh, no. That is... You'd leave. I'd leave. Not just the job, but probably the country. And yes. never come back if I had done that to did someone. Did he, like, did you keep him on? Yeah, yeah, he became the boss. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Melbourne. Good morning. How are we all doing? I'm great. Out of curiosity, did you say to the cab driver, may I have your seat cover and turn it into a jumper? Oh, me? You're rocking the fleece. Um, it's really warm and Fleecy. Today's not the day. You don't need it. 20 yeah, today. It's going to be ripping this Monday. This morning getting out of bed, it was a bit chilly. Mondays are always hard, aren't they? Uh, are. Hey, can I ask, am I missing something? The Arriva Variola? Astralis Arulala. That's the one. Astralis. <laughs> Aurora Astralis. The makeup bread? Aurora Astralis. That's the one. Is that it? Now, this no, was some uh, <laughs> yeah, spectacular Aurora. light show. Aurora Ast- Astralis. Well, I missed it. So what was the go? Someone hung fairy lights? What have I missed? No, it was like the... It's like a kaleidoscope of colour in the sky. Yeah, it's like the northern lights that people travel to see. Travel from all over the world. It was over Melbourne on the weekend. Well, I had no No, idea until the the next day. We got the southern lights. Yeah. And those in the northern hemisphere got the northern lights. Are you making that up? Yeah, he doesn't know. Look at him. What is that? He's doing that funny little look he does when he reads the news where he's not really sure what he's reading. It's much easier when it's on the auto queue. Did you see it? (laughs) No, I had no idea what everyone was talking about. What about Instagram? Everyone got a shot of it. But did everybody know? How come we didn't know? Because we're not stargazers. <laughs> people, no. people with telescopes freak me out. Oh yeah, well, if you're not using them to look at the stars, sure. And like I've had, I've had numerous Airb- numerous Airbnbs we've checked in at on the Gold Coast, and there'll be a telescope in the corner of the room, and I'm like, well, someone's using that to spy into other hotels. So did you? Coming up this hour, did you, what did you see? <laughs> no, it was quite boring. Actually, it was a bit of a letdown. No one was putting on a show. Oh. Yeah. So we didn't miss much? Or is this like a once-in-a-lifetime so event? The Southern Light Show was visible from backyards in Melbourne and it was in full force because of a geomagnetic storm activity. Oh, yeah, that's the right. geomagnetic yeah. storm that's activity. I've been waiting all my life for this, someone wrote. Well, it happens. It, the last time it happened was two decades ago. Yeah, so right. Very, very rare. I'll get the next one. Yeah. Um, it's the strongest well, skies we've seen in, in, <laughs> in Australia for over 20 years. Right. Yeah, that's what he just said. Uh, hey, um, coming up, Mason Cox is going to be joining us. What's <laughs> two decades? <laughs> that is, but you've come in here with half the information, so I'm now on news.com to get oh, the full it's story. Very reliable. Because you're news. a terrible newsbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> coming up, Mason Cox is going to join us. What a win for the pies on the weekend. And seriously, North Melbourne, should you bother just. Rocking wow, up. Like, geez, they're in trouble, aren't they? Tigerland, North Melbourne, there's a few clubs that are in hot water. Still windless, the poor old Roos. Yeah. Not going very well. We're going to be talking footy a little bit later on. And Albo, did you see? He was in the dressing room after the match. After Hawks. Who was he with? The Hawks. Yeah. Does he back for the Hawks? Yeah. I believe so. Well, uh, we're going to be diving into that. But coming up next, Loz, mm-hmm. do you want to tell Melbourne who we're about to meet? We're thinking he might be Melbourne's most charismatic, handsome tradie. Oh, he is. And he joins us next. You're on the air with Jason Lauren. Clint's here from the newsroom as well. And, um, Loz, we were out and about around Melbourne the we other were. week, weren't we? We've been meeting people right across Melbourne, which was so fun. And thank you to everyone who came and said hello over the last couple of weeks. Including one very specific person. Um, let me just play a replay of what you said the other day. Actually, you should see it when we're out doing, say, hey for 10K. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, tradie will come along and you're... <laughs> oh, I, 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 do I think not. there was a handsome tradie out yesterday. Yeah, there was. <laughs> From what, actually, Lauren texted me about <laughs> Whatever. Read out the text clip. Yeah. Lauren screenshot it and sent it to me last night. What'd she say? What were the, what were the words accompanying the photo there, Clint? If Paul screws me over, I'm off to Pakenham. <laughs> well, guess what, Lauren? Don't do it. Pakenham's come to us. No, the I handsome tradie. Would you please welcome to the studio, handsome tradie Jackson. Good morning. Right. Oh, chuck the headphones on. Morning, Jackson. Morning, Jackson. 
Who I'm, are so, we all? I'm so sorry about these two. No, Have they embarrassed right. you? No, no, it was actually quite enjoyable, actually. Like, I, yeah, I, I was working in the morning and then I pulled out my phone and I got the, uh, what was it, the Instagram message. And I was like, oh, Did what? she slide into the... I did no, not. I'm still waiting, no. actually. I was, I'm pretty flat. Like, didn't get a like, didn't like <laughs> no. the story, didn't like anything. So. I, just, I slid into his DMs. I screenshot no, it. No, Clint followed me, so yeah. Clint, yeah, Clint's got my back. I'll I screenshot you, it and sent yeah, it to well, Clint. Thanks, Jase. Does, I'm, does I'm Lauren follow I was you? taking it that you weren't really an Instagram kind of person, you know. Oh, so, a bit slow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought so. But. Too old. I'm sorry. I was like, I'm engaged and I probably shouldn't reply to this message. No, that's fair enough. I did understand that, but... I got, I got... I got very flattered and then I got flustered and then I panicked. Lauren. Oh, you and me both. What do you think <laughs> of Jackson in the flesh? Well, I've met Jackson in the I, flesh I know, before. but in the flesh, flesh now. I'm sure it's got to see more flesh. He's got, he's got the quads out. Well, I was going to say ha- last you're time. You're a handsome rooster. Thank you, thank you. I was going to say last week when we chatted, <laughs> I was saying everything I liked about you. I thought maybe today we could <laughs> could do a bit of back and forth, you what know, a, like. What a wonderful suggestion. <laughs> but before we do that, I just wanted to say I did actually get you something, Loz. <laughs> Um, oh, he's come up. Oh, he's bought a gift. Just because you did like the photo, you know, so much, I thought oh, I've got to take these off. Yeah, take I? them <laughs> off. But t- tell her what it is before you walk away from the moment. Uh, so it's actually the photo of us um, <laughs> from that day. Oh and my. I've actually accompanied uh, a block of chocolate as well. Oh, that you, can. you know the way to my heart. And, um, oh, my God, and, it's framed. Okay, and let go, Loz. Oh, let go. He, smell, he smells good too. And, um, smells delicious. And Jackson, it, where, where do you think she should know. put that uh, photo frame? Oh, I was suggesting that that one goes on the bedside table next to the one with Paul. But <laughs> in front but or next is to? In it too. Oh, we'll go in front. Oh, well, Jace was very it's close to getting cropped weird. out, but I thought, oh, it might be a bit strange if I cropped him out. That's so. okay. We can put something over Jace's face. Yeah, I reckon. Oh. Hey, Jackson, you been to the gym today, bruh? No, nah, not this morning, mate. No, no, no AM sessions. You're looking good. Thank you. Thank you. So are you. Jackson's very fit, and so now I feel like I should stand and get my <laughs> hey, um, step count. Special day today. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's my birthday today. Oh, so, no. yeah, no, thank you. 25. 25 today. Can we get a cake that Lauren can jump out of? Do we? <laughs> Sorry. Don't embarrass That'd me. That'd be a side. I like. Bring like, Michelle's patisserie. <laughs> Tell them like, we're going to need a couple of muds. <laughs> we need some cream. Well, Coles is down the road, isn't it? Let's, yeah, let's yeah, duck right. down there quickly, get a few birthday candles. You buy Jackson oh, something, he got Jackson. you something. <laughs> How much do we love Jackson? I didn't know it was your birthday and I didn't know you were coming in today. We have brought Jackson in for a reason. And look. I'm we'll, excited. <laughs> We've got to go to a song. Mm. When we come back from the break. Uh, oh, this is great. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is exciting. Um, Jackson's this life. This was my idea. Jackson, so Was it? you can thank me later. No, I will. Thank you. How do you want to be thanked? <laughs> Paul's called it off. I said and later. And you two are getting married. <laughs> Has Paul called it off? No, 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 no. Because Paul hot... did comment on the Instagram. What you can say? have her. <laughs> Get her out of my hair. Yeah, I did reply to that. I don't think he's seen it, though. So. Oh, what did you say? I said I'd come pick her up tomorrow after work. <laughs> Okay, I am not a toy. I no, no, to she, no, she's a beautiful woman. Yeah. Thanks, Jackson. You can stay around as long as you like. What about us? You two can. Yeah, don't finish that sentence. <laughs> no, I don't want. Um, it's just gone 21 past seven. We are on the air with Jackson, Melbourne's hottest tradie. And we're going to take a quick break. But on the other side of this, Jackson, we have a question for you, which I think is going to excite a lot of people in Melbourne. We're on the air with Jackson, Melbourne's hottest Tradie, now we are yet to post a photo of Melbourne's hottest tradie on our socials. We will do that soon. Are you happy for us to call He's you a hot tradie? You can call me whatever you want. Oh my god! What about us? Jackson, <laughs> stop it! <laughs> I love Jackson so much. We know, Dale. It's if mutual, only... Lauren. It's definitely mutual. <laughs> so. If only I was twelve Glad years to be younger here. and not engaged. Well, but... that's the thing. I was going to say, me brother. I got a thirty-four-year-old, thirty-five-year-old oh, brother. Do so. You? Uh... <laughs> If those roles if so those roles were reversed, still... I reckon we could have had a chance. But is he? Ha- does he look like you? No, nah, not really. No, nah, he's a bit. I'm probably. I got the. You know, I'm probably Good the genes. best out of the family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. But he has a lovely you personality. Best out of the three. Genetic yeah. A great lottery. personality. Okay. The reason we got Jackson in is unfortunately, Lauren is engaged. It is unfortunate, actually. And today, she's off the mark. Now that Jackson's happy. Here. So unfortunately, no, you I'm are very happy. You are and off love. the market. Paul's a great guy. Great guy. <laughs> You've never met. Fantastic. You um, <laughs> but it does mean our hot tradie is single and available. Are you telling me tradie wants a lady? Tradie wants a lady. Well, Jackson, the tradie, do you want a lady? No, I'd love one. Let's... Oh. We're doing tradie wants a lady. Let's yes, we are. find yeah, we are. you a gilf. 
Brand. <laughs> girlfriend. I was going to say, I didn't finish. Yeah, how old are we going? What's, what's, what's the age cut off for entries? Have we got an age cut off for entries? Or is it. I find a girl. A girlfriend. You, you're all nervous. What are you. What are you talking about? God, the bloody. I'm broken out in the sweat. Doreen at the nursing home listening's like, finally, a promotion I can enter. I'm, I'm, She's got to get her grandson to sort out her computer, though. No, I was trying to be cool and shorten the term girlfriend. Well, you were. sounded like a grandma. No, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, he definitely, definitely calls that one up, love. Good morning, it's Shady Pines. <laughs> <laughs> Very good morning, it is. Okay, well, Jackson likes an older woman. You never know. Okay. Oh, I don't know about that old. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> right. So here's the go. Um, if you would like <laughs> to get to know Jackson, our hot tradie. Loz, would you be able to do a description for people listening in their cars right Describe now? Describe Jackson. Yep. 25. Tradie. <clears throat> I'm trying not to look at him. <laughs> you need to look at him. Yeah. Built like an athlete. Fit, yes. I would say. Very much. Can we, can we see the Rick? Can we? Can we, can we, can we, can we no. You, I'm not a piece of meat, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I have, you know, I am a human being. So I apologise. I apologise. <laughs> maybe later. I just, I just want to look under, under the bonnet. Okay, Sorry. dark Let's warm hair. up a little, maybe later. Dark hair, like chocolate brown hair, dark eyes, beautiful tan. Some tats, got some some artwork on the limbs. Got a bit of a, is that a sleeve? No, no, just, no the, a, just the forearm. The forearm. Just the old, oh. old okay. halfy. Lovely so, skin. And the old half leg. Yeah, okay. good skin, isn't it? Looks like he'd never miss leg day. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he's um, got good, gigantic quads. I would say confident yet approachable. Yes, funny. You're funny. Thank you. I have my days. Funny haha, not funny weird. No. Funny haha. He seems to be well manicured as well, the arms. Yeah, no, yeah. I, had a, I had a bit of a spruce up last night. You what's, know, what's your so hygiene like? You'd be. I'd like to think I'm pretty clean. You yeah, know, right. I shower at least twice a day, oh, brush twice good, a day. What's your you know? trimmer of choice? Trimmer yeah, of choice. The at the night. moment, no, at the moment, so I, I normally <laughs> duck into Coles in the female <laughs> razor section. The, you know, the old five blade, real sensitive ones, because I get, you know, ingrown hairs and oh, stuff yeah. after yeah, a shave. Yeah. So oh, yeah. This is a sensitive one. Yeah, no, nah, so I go the old, I, I couldn't oh, yeah, tell you the brand, but it's like pink or green. So. See, confident, yeah. happy to go into the women's section and get the razors and stuff. <laughs> I love I'm buying them. No, no, I'm buying them from mum. Oh, oh you've oh, oh, right, mom. okay, gotcha. Yes, um, he is a catch. He about, is a solid 10 out of 10. Tradie, got a job. It. What about hobbies? Hobbies? Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, I uh, enjoy going to the gym in my spare time. Uh, used to play football. You played in the AFL, did you? I did, yes, yes. Who did you play for? Uh, the East Belt Rams. Oh. Okay. Yeah, a strong club. How'd yeah, yeah, not too bad. I uh, was playing ones, you know, played a few games when I was sixteen in the ones, and then uh, you know went back down to development as the uh, as the body sort of matured a little bit more, and then yeah, got myself back in the side and sort of started playing pretty consistent footy. So there you go. Yeah, pretty good. So He's, not bad. I, I'm just seeing the notes they'd like me to reference. Um, fashion style. I would say like well dressed. I, I, I admittedly I've only seen you in gym gear, and I'm Short not shorts. hating it. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. Well, my mate said this morning, he's like, "Is that what you're wearing?" And I said, yeah, why? And he's like, you're not going to put on jeans or jean shorts no, or something no, like that? No, no, no. And I was yourself. like, oh, you should see how Jay's dresses. I'll be right. It's true. What, have you got a T-shirt on <laughs> so under your hoodie today, Jay's? No, he's raw-dogging it. He wears a hoodie with no T-shirt. Hey, hello. That ain't it. You could do you that. You show Jackson. me yours and I'll show you mine. I don't know. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. Oh, my goodness. What else do you like doing outside of going to the gym and playing yeah. footy? Um, I don't know, really. Like, ever since I moved out to Drew and it's very much just work, you know, you... Mm-hmm. You're driving 40 minutes out to work in the morning, so you're what leaving. What sort of trade? Yeah, what sort of trade? Uh, carpentry. Chippy. Oh. Chippy. Oh, so you, could, you could build the dream home. I could, yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that, that's, well, that's it. a tick. Tick? I'll just get my little list. Tick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let me set the scene. He's a trader. Jason Lawrence, tradie wants a lady. <laughs> and the trader is fine. He is indeed, and he is. On the air with us this morning, Jackson, Melbourne's hottest tradie. All right. Now, I did say, let's find you a gilf. And I, what I meant, <laughs> like, and I meant like a short, cute version mm. of a girlfriend Not is a what gilf. I was trying to say. Well, Not pe- a people are grandma. Ringing. We've had a gilf I'd call like... through. We might take that call in a second. An but, actual um, gilf. 13, <laughs> you asked for it. 13, 20, <laughs> 4, 10 is our number if oh, you would no. like to date Melbourne's hottest tradie. Can't believe I'm going to say this, but uh, 132410 is our number. <laughs> if you want to date Melbourne's hottest trader, he's a trader. He wants a lady. Jason Lawrence, tradie wants a lady. And the trader is fine. He's also he's got a name. Fine. He's 25 year old Jackson. 25 young, isn't it? Yeah, but he's an old son. I agree. You know what? 
You say people are old souls a lot, but no, I agree not with always. you on this one. Not always. Clint's quite immature. It's actually his birthday today. It is. Jackson. Anyway, he's been in the studio this morning. Uh, he's lovely. We should have got her to Marilyn Monroe. You did ask for a giant cake, and thankfully the producer said they couldn't whip one up in time for me to jump out of. You should have done the Marilyn Monroe, like the hat. Mr. President. I would have been better than Marilyn. Jeez, wow. got some calls. <laughs> I know, haven't we? Let's go to the phones. Now, I will point out, we haven't released his photo yet, so you're just running off Lauren's description. But, well, no, but you heard from him before. We've been talking to him let's, all morning. Let's take He's one got H. plenty of, what are the kids saying? Riz. Charisma. Riz. Yeah. Riz. Can, can I throw out the first one? Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Let's take uh, Ashley from Wallen. Good morning, Ash. Morning, Ash. Good morning, guys. Love the show, by the way. Oh, thank, thank you, Ash. Thank you, Ash. Do you love our tradie as well? Oh, bit too early for that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, tell cause... us about yourself. Uh, so, I'm a scientist. Oh. Um, I work in research. Um, I guess hobbies-wise, um, I enjoy going to the gym. Tick. Um, hacking outdoors with friends. Oh, yeah, a he's bit of baking as well. Great. And so you heard from sorry, Jackson no, before. No, sorry. We've got a negative. She's a Bombers, Bombers fan. Is that right? Yeah, that's okay. Well, that's, not a okay. <laughs> that's all right. No, that's good. That's good. And Ashley, you heard us talking to Jackson before. What What did you think? What did you like about him? Uh, he seems really well spoken. Um, seems like a nice guy. Um, mm-hmm. Family yeah. man. Oh, I didn't hear that bit. I you, probably called in too early. You know what? Like... It's hard to meet good people. Well, I was about to say, the dating apps, everyone seems to be starting to turn on as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everyone hit them hard for a few mm. years, and then they're realising, oh, you know what? I want to go back to, like, meeting someone Actually in a bar and things someone. like that. Actually, have you tried the Yeah, have you tried the dating apps? Didn't work for you? I did, and, um, yeah, quickly deleted them. Yeah, right. Okay. That's, that's the common common thread. All right, uh, let's take more. 13, 20, 4, 10, if you want to date Melbourne's Your hottest turn, tradie. Uh, Megan in Cranbourne, morning. Morning, how are you? We are good, I believe. You want to date Jackson the Hot Tradie. Yeah, he sounds not too bad, to be honest. And you're in fitness yourself? <laughs> I am, yes, I am. I um, go to the gym and I also do pole fitness. Oh. You do what? Pole fitness. Pole What's pole fitness? fitness? So, pole dancing, but not in the, you know, provocative way. So oh, not in big, a club. Big on hens, big <laughs> hens party events, aren't they? Uh, yes, can be. You've so, got to be so strong to yes, do that. I couldn't lift call. my own body good weight. Call. Oh, no, I'm the same. <laughs> yeah. Imagine ho- me trying to hold my body weight hanging off a pole. It, may, it wouldn't be cute. My thighs? No, you couldn't do it. <laughs> Clint, so, you could do it. Could you, I? I could see you doing pole fitness. <laughs> I see the difference. Jake is he could wearing... do it. If, you're holding, if he's got good thighs, he'll you're definitely be able your... to hang down and hold on to it. If you've got good thighs, you can do it. Is that what Peter Hitchner does? No, he does, like, circus think, training. Think, oh, yeah, he does the yoga thing. So, yes, yes, right. Peter right. Hitchner is not doing pole fitness. Right, okay. Well, just, I checking. Mean, just checking. Maybe. I don't know. Like okay, all right. And uh, what was it about Jackson that caught your attention? Uh, just the way that he spoke. He's very, yeah, clean, proper, and, yeah, mm. sounds a bit easy on the eye. And Lauren's descriptions are extremely good. So. There you go. And he smells good, too. That chick needs to know. No one wants to, no one wants to stink first. you got to smell good. Hey, uh, as we keep taking calls, 13, 20, 4, 10, the phone lines have absolutely okay. lit up. Now, I think we've got a problem here because, Jace, when Jackson was here, I, I, I had a slip of the tongue. You did indeed. You said, <laughs> uh, let's find him a gilf. Let's I'm, go to the phones. I, yeah, a gilf. This is your turn, Lauren. Philippa, good morning. Good morning, Lauren. How are you? Oh, do you have grandchildren, oh, Philippa. Philippa? I do have grandchildren. Sing I've got it, five. Five. Yeah. And what what decade of your life are you in, Philippa? <laughs> I'm in my 60s. Get it, sis. Mm. Any single? You, uh, how do you, uh, how do you feel well, about a 25-year-old there, Philippa? Oh, wonderful. I've got <laughs> children much older than that. <laughs> <laughs> are you looking to adopt another child or to find a fella? Oh, well, I'm a widow, so, you know, I'm... I'm Looking for another fella. Looking for love, Philippa. If this worked out with Melbourne's hottest tradie, then technically your kids, who are like 10 years older than Jackson, they'll... like Stepdad. He'll he'll be stepdad. Mm, Daddy Jackson. Right. Wouldn't that make for fun? We could go on Springer if he was still on. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I'm Springer. <laughs> so I just realised my you stepfather's said. younger than me and I can't cope when he asked me to call him Dad. <laughs> <laughs> She's got her own Jerry Springer hey, episode Philippa, what do you um? tell us about yourself. What do you um sort of do? What sort of hobbies have you got? Well, at the moment 
I'm not doing much because I've just had my hip replaced. Oh, that's <laughs> sexy. Have you got a senior's car? That means she's good to go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! You guys go to the movies. It'll be one child and one senior. It'll be a bloody cheap day out. I love Philippa. You're a hoot. Oh my God! Yeah, no, I'm 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 an emergency teacher. I barrack for Carlton. Yes. Right. Okay. Which is a positive, of course. Yes, of course. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and I wish they'd stop giving me heart attacks. Yes, at your age. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. My age. Who knows? I could drop off the perch. All your all your teeth intact. Yeah, all my teeth are intact. Okay, yeah, she's only 60. And Philippa, where I'm would, only 62. Where 60 would is the like, new 50, Philippa. Where would you <laughs> say is your ideal date? Where would you like Jackson to take you? Oh, for a nice dinner. Mm-hmm. At? Uh, movies. Yes. 4.30 seating or <laughs> RSL? <laughs> No, I'm quite happy to go to the 8.30 or even 9.30. Oh, Philippa. And I never go to bed before 12. And Philippa, Jeez. would you consider yourself a gilf? Oh, why not? Get it, Queen. Get can, it. Can we send Philippa on one of the dates? 100%. Absol- would right, you I'll go tell on what. a date with him, Philippa? Yeah, of course. Yeah, That's right. what she's calling for. Yep. She's Philippa, not here do you for a haircut. What, do you know what a gilf is? Don't answer that. Don't answer that question. She knows. All right. She's had her hip done for the yes, occasion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she might be getting the other one done in a week. <laughs> All right, Melbourne's hottest tradie. His name's Jackson. We are going to get to know him a little bit better tomorrow. You know what? We need to chat with his family and friends too. What, to see if they're okay with gilfs or just to get the dirt on him? Bit of both. Guys, I want to take you to Launceston. Hawthorne versus St Kilda at the weekend. A big game. Both clubs needed to win, but they had some uh, VIPs in the crowd, one of Did which they? was a Hawthorne fan. Mm-hmm. Undercover Hawthorne. I actually, I sort of, now now I think about it, he has spoken about it before, but the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese. Oh, he's a bit more NF, NRL. NRL, yeah, NRL. He loves NRL. the Rabbitohs. That's right. Yeah. He loves Rabbitohs. Who did remember, Scoma like? The Sharks. The Sharkies. But remember when Elbo became the Prime Minister in the morning, he got up to get his newspaper off the lawn and oh, he was in his Rabbitohs pajamas? Yeah. Cute. Like, come on, mate. It's the you morning. mean some Hawks pyjamas? Yeah, but it's the morning you become the Prime Minister. Don't go out to get the paper in your jammies. Well, who's going to do it for him? He, he would have people then. Mm. He well, would have paper people. Yeah. Not yet. Now he would. When he was opposition leader. No people. Oh, people, no. But you're right. Now he's got people. Uh, he didn't dress up in his pyjamas. He was draped in a beautiful uh, brown and gold uh, scarf yep. for the Hawks. And he joined in singing... The theme song did he know the with words? the players. That's he cool. did know. Well, he's been a lifelong hawk, apparently. Um, TJ wasn't happy on the Sunday footy show Why? yesterday. Why? He's TJ's never happy never on happy. the yeah. TJ said, almost made me sick. Why? Anthony Albanese torched over song <laughs> celebration. I was almost sick yesterday when I looked at the Hawthorne Club song, and there he was, front and centre, the Prime Minister. He has no interest in AFL. There he was, got the scarf around, just go away. Really? He's a grump. He's getting more grumpy in his old age. Oh, I like it. I like it. Oh, just rename the show Grumpy Old Man and Mates. That's what they should call it on the weekend. Yeah, they all all just hang it on each other. Yeah, I enjoyed his criticism. Anyway. Why um, does he hate Elbow or he just thinks Elbow's being a fake footy fan? Maybe a bit of both. I don't know. Go but back to the rabbit I didn't mind reckon. seeing um, Elbow in, yeah, his, like in his scuff, but he, and he knew all the words. He was really into it, and the players looked into it too. Do you remember last week? Well, you week? can't say you're a full footy fan if you don't know the words to your club song. I reckon I almost know all of them. When I was a kid, I used to Every club them. song? Almost. Do you know, actually, sh- should we start with Hawthorne? Because that's the theme that we're going with. Hawthorne. That's, yeah. Do you, do you, you, know, just, you just said. You just said, I, I would know. pretty much know every club song. No, we don't always have to prove we'll ourselves right and in. wrong. We'll give you a lead in, Elbow. You Come want me on. to sing it? Here we go. Hawthorne. We, oh, no, wait, I missed this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Butchered that. Okay, I oh, know, I remember. Okay, I remember. here we go. Okay. Play it again. When does it Come on, Elbow. Is this the karaoke version? Yes. We're a happy team at home. On. We are the mighty fighting hawks. She's good so far. Not bad. We love our hawks and we play oh. to win. Kicking the goals in the goals. <laughs> <laughs> a bit off key as well. Is uh, riding the bumps with a grin. What is it? Riding the bumps with a grin. That's right. Hang the words on. to footy songs are dumb. You got Ad Hawthorne. Ad Hawthorne. You got history with the cats. Oh, yeah. You oh, I know too. this one. Here we go. I'll cue you in. Are you ready? We are 
are Geelong, the greatest team of all. Yep. We are Geelong, we're always on the ball. We play the game as it should be played. Yo. At home or far away. Sing it, sis. This is the hard one. Our banners fly high from dawn to dusk. Down at Kajinia she's, she's done it. Park. She's, done it. she's bloody done it. Knew it. Did I get every All word right. right? That's good. Should we give you another one? Yeah. What about GWS? Yes. GWS. Oh, no one you'd... knows that Come one. On. I know it. Come on. Can you help Let's me with the together. first line? You okay. said before, I pretty much. Yeah, but I said I practiced as a kid. This team started like three seconds ago. But I'll cue oh, you again. Oh, no, this one's a bad one. Get your march on. Well, there's a big, on big on sound from the, the west of the, the town. There's the sound of the, the mighty giants. <laughs> no, I don't know this one. The ground is shaking. <laughs> The ground is shaking, the ground is shaking at the Giants, where the Giants... You stopped it. Because <laughs> you butchered it. We take the longest strides that... and the highest What's the leap. chorus? We're stronger Well, there isn't a chorus. It's not a real rest. song. What about the blues? We are the Navy Blues. Yep. Yep. It's a nice slow one. You should get this. It's the second verse. It's going to trip Yeah, her. yeah, yeah. Well... We are the Navy Blues. Go deep. We are the old dark navy blues. blues. We're the team that never lets you down. We're the only team from Carlton's town. No. We're gonna kick them. We're gonna kick a mash up. We keep our ends up. Cause we're the old man from the Carlton. No, no, we no, are the good no. old navy blues. I mean, it's, she riffed pretty well. Was it close? No. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Clear the phone lines. 13 20 10 is our number. Every day we give you a chance to have a crack for five grand. Otherwise, if you're not feeling too alert being a Monday, you can take an easy question for 50 bucks. You can yes. take a medium question for 500 or you can roll the dice for 5K. All right, let's do it. Let's choose a player today. We're going to Zoe from Caulfield North. Morning, Zoe. Hi. Oh, hi, Zoe. How old are you? Well, I turned 12 today. Oh, oh happy Zoe, birthday. Zoe, happy birthday. 12 Thank years you. old today. All right. Just hold there one sec. I'm going to feel terrible giving her a $5,000 question because they're quite hard. Well, she gets to choose. She might be a genius. You never know. All right, Zoe, let's do it. Do you want a difficult question for $5,000, a medium question for 500 or do you want to go for 50 bucks for your 12th birthday? Uh, I think I'll go with $50. Good call. Yeah. $50. don't think we've ever had someone go the 50. No, I love it. All right. Now, listen. Zoe, I'm going to help you with this. I'm a stickler for the rules here, Zoe. I'm not, Zoe. I hate rules. Let's win you 50 bucks. You're not helping me here, Lauren. Zoe, you'll get three seconds after the question is asked to answer, okay? Okay. Are you ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Zoe, for $50... What is the fastest animal on Earth? Cheetah. Oh, she's done it. She's done it. Well done, Straight Zoe. Away. Zoe, well done. 50 bucks. She needs another question. What are you going to do with the 50 bucks? Uh, I'm not sure. Are oh. you going to save it or are you a spender? Yeah, probably. I'll probably save it. Can we give her another question for another 50? <sighs> yeah, why Come not? On, Let's give, give her 100 bucks. Give her a second. Come on. Zoe, Zoe, do you want a second question another for another question? 50, Zoe? Yes, please. Oh, okay. $50. Zoe, for another $50, <laughs> how many letters are there in the alphabet? 26. Oh, oh. she's done it. Should we keep going till no, she gets no, to 5000 no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, $100 coming your way, which is like a million to a kid. Well um, done. Happy birthday, Zoe. 100 bucks, Zoe. Thank you so much. Have a You're great day, good. Zoe. It's a lot of bloody mixed lollies. Hundred dollars. That's a that's oh, mate, that's a, big cash at that age. At eleven. Hey, at any age. Hey, uh, the five thousand dollar question returns this time tomorrow on Nova. Do you think she would have got the five thousand dollar question? I doubt it. No, never know. Do you want to? No, because okay. I don't. I don't want to upset her in case <laughs> she's on go. a high. Let's yeah, let her. Right. Let's call. leave her on a high. Good call. Good call. Hey, coming up next. Time's ticking. It needs to find a target. He couldn't get a handball away. Siren's got a sound. Save it. 
It's a draw. That was the Crows and Lions on the weekend. Did you see that? Another bloody draw. You know how I feel about that. You know how I feel about them. It was a very different case for the Mighty Magpies. Mason Cox and the Pies joins us after Sabrina Carpenter. You are on the air with Jace and Lauren Clint here from the newsroom as well. As the siren sounds for the first time this year, Collingwood are back in the eight and looking every bit like the reigning premiers. A 66-point win over the West Coast Eagles. Wow. wow Back in the eight, baby. What a massacre. Uh, Mason Cox and the Mighty Pies joins us this morning. G'day, Morning, mates. Mates. Morning. Morning. Hey, just before we get to that horrific scoreline we saw, um, we've said it before, Collingwood, people used to hate Collingwood, but you guys have turned into, like, the ultimate family club. Watching you boys run out with oh. flowers up the race for all of your mums for Mother's Day was the cutest thing. You had your mum here for Mother's Day as well. How did that whole thing come about? Um, yeah, we've had the moms in, or moms, sorry, we've had the moms in uh, for the last couple of days at the at the club, which was pretty cool. And uh, it's always great to kind of share that experience with, you know, special people. And uh, we made a point of the weekend, obviously playing on Mother's Day to, to make them feel special. And uh, that was the idea, was to bring them, I guess, flowers. So it's changed a shot, bit. Oh, it's a bit, look, Jace, it's a bit different. It's the sweetest. It's very they, cute. I had my auntie in town too, which was cool. So look we got them. to... Um, and so of the mums, because I love mm. talking about footy, I think footy you players' like, mums. You know what? They look like flower girls. How cute a giant they look? pack of flower girls <laughs> at the wedding. So cute. Your sleeveless awesome. shirts and booty shorts. I Your mum was there as well. Your mum's in town. Yep, mum's in town, yep. Look at you, big tall man with a small bouquet. Oh no, I couldn't get a bigger one. They didn't give it to so me. So gorgeous. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> the small side. Who's the cra- like the mums? Mums go the moms. wild at the footy. The mums. Yeah. Which who's got the like loudest? Oh, the booming mums. voice. Brayden Maynard's mother, really? Donna, is she the most unit. lovely human being. But she's a, she's a go to for like media at the club. Like right. they always go to her, and and Brayden's a bit of a personality himself, right? So does she get white live and fever like him? Um, I've never seen it, but I wouldn't put it past her. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, do the mums all get along? Yeah, they all they all enjoy each other. I think like I'm very fortunate. Like my mother obviously doesn't get to hang out with them as much because yeah. she's over in the states. But whenever she does come here, the club's very good at looking after her. Uh, the other moms and stuff like reach out to her, and she goes and has dinner with them and oh, things like that. Nice. So they do get looked after. Which do you is nice. do you have other mums step in for when your mum isn't here? Like, do you get invited over for dinners? At- other players' mum. Mace goes um, to the Maguires. Yeah, he does too. Yeah. Family like Christmas. Darcy's, Darcy's mom, Jane, she looks after me. Uh, she's a very lovely, great cook too. Oh, uh, the Maguires look after me too. I've got quite a few little kind of like families here. The Westercots are another one that um, uh, look Didn't after me. Did you pass me, out so. at Eddie Maguire's house one Christmas? No, I always take an Uber home. Yeah. You <laughs> I should, always take watch, an Uber home. You just winked at me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what about. This is the, radio. Uh, <laughs> You should go to the Hawkins for dinner one yeah, night. Yeah, come to our house oh. dinner if you want. Sort of like work experience. You know, my I reckon. Mm. I've been trying to get myself experience. invited over for a family dinner. No, no, no. no. Sorry. For three years and I've never wow. been invited. If you go before me, I'll be... Well, should we go together? It's, Let's do it. Let's all go. <laughs> Listen, it's three extra mouths to <laughs> At 6pm, it's like a zoo. I'm, I call it Black well, Hawk Down Hour. I don't need three other We're children. <laughs> no disrespect, <laughs> Mace. Coming kid. over as well. Mace would be a big eater too, I reckon. Oh, oh yeah. You'd double that. Whatever you're buying, um, double it. Mace, are the Eagles getting better? Are they any better? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, they've got Harley Reid's really good player Isn't and uh, coming in. He's a, he's a freak of nature. He's so good. And then, um, yeah, I mean, you look at, obviously, last night, um, probably not their, their best outing as far as the scoreline, mm-hmm. but... Um, overall, I think they've been taking teams, you know, to the to the end of the game, and that's a lot better than they were last year. Well, they've won two games. That's one more than my Tigers, and, mm. and two the more Tigers than are in trouble. North mate. Melbourne. <laughs> do you feel sorry for the poor old Roos who are bottom of the ladder and can't do really anything very well at the moment? Are Nothing. They? Oh, I don't know. I mean, the AFL is probably giving them extra cash and yeah. trying to help them out, you know, <laughs> as they do. So, um, it is what it is. I mean, yeah, that's not really my issue. So, true. <laughs> How are the pies feeling? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We've had quite a few new guys come in, which I think is it's cool. Like to have, I don't know, guys play their first game and uh, you know, young young players being able to show up. It, it gives energy to the older fellas, I think, mm. like because it brings you back to that first game and that feeling of having your family there. And, yeah. And everything else that just you know, it's it's a positive kind of uplifting experience yeah. whenever you have someone debut. How, how old are you? Don't worry about that. That's not yeah. thirty. No, but like, do you, you sit in the mid range? Thirty-three or the, now. So, yeah. 33. So does that mm. make does it are you considered one of the older players? Yeah, I think I might be the second or third oldest right. on the team. Yeah. At so 35, do they wheel you out? 
to the field? It's Tom Hawkins right now. Ask, yeah, ask Pendles right. yeah. in time, man. Yeah, Pendles <laughs> is the oldest, isn't he? He is, yeah. You've always got him. It's always... I know. As soon as he retires, I'm screwed. <laughs> it's always <laughs> nice having someone older that you can Mace. remind. Mm. Hey, uh, you're finally inside the top eight. Oh. Yeah, news oh, to you. Okay. Uh, taking on the Crows <laughs> this weekend, would you say we'll stay in the top eight now until the end? That's that's the hope, Jason, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're going to well, reel me into this issue, one. Jason, they're they're, they're, gonna gonna reel they're like this. the walking wounded at Collingwood at the moment. Lots They've got things. injuries aplenty. He's... Top mate, Jeremy Howe, just went down at the weekend with a quad. Ooh. Jamie Elliott's out. He's got a sore back. Jack Martell's concussed. Jeez, uh, what's good? Does that concussed. mean you spend more time forward? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I've oh, played a bit good, more time it? forward. How good is that? Uh, considering that's the guy living. didn't kick the goal over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'll have to play a bit more forward. And uh, we've had to shift a few things around. I think our forward line had uh, two or three new faces in it this year. Or the, sorry, this week. So, um, like I said, it gives opportunity to some of the young guys that are, um, you know, you, starving for an opportunity. Do you like playing down forward or do you prefer to be in the ruck? Um, I don't mind. I'm happy just to be uh, to play and just kind of be my position, you know, and just be out there enjoying myself. Yeah. It's um, I think the older you get, the more you just kind of enjoy uh, being able to, to play every single week and uh, yeah. you enjoy the experience of it, right? Rather What's than tougher stressing on your so body, much. though? Because being in the ruck, is that it, is it mm. really tough on your body? Uh, depends who you play, it's a probably. Lot of knees, um, a lot of He's yeah. twice the size of everybody else, man. Mm. It's a lot of like having to sit under the ball and people jump into your back. Mm. That's yeah. the worst. The only you just don't is... see it coming. You just like, knee to the back of the head or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh. When you play forward, though, I took uh, my boys to um, a game where you were playing forward and the crowd, because of your last name, gets a bit rowdy and starts, <laughs> starts begging for. Cox. Yeah. Mason. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Mason. Yeah. yeah. Give it to Mason. Yes. Yeah. If only it could be someone else in this world. Yeah. <laughs> Big Mason. <laughs> hey, uh, Good on you, Mace. Well done. <coughs> rest up. You, I know you're a bit sore this morning. Rest no, up. I appreciate you. Big game coming up this week. And say hi to your folks for us yeah. as well. Mum and dad in town. How long are they in town for? Uh, I think another week and a half or two weeks. Maybe I'll bring them on. Who knows? Yeah, bring them in. in. Bring, bring them in. Next I do week. love this. So. Happy Mother's Day to all the mums for yesterday as well. And a big shout out to those who, you know, find yesterday quite hard. Yes. Mixed emotions on Mother's Day. Yeah. You know what I love seeing though? The, um, all the mums posting that thing that the kids fill out at school. Like my mum's name is, oh, yeah. she is this old, at her favourite things are, and so many of them say like, drinking wine or her favourite drink yes. is an adult drink. Yes. <laughs> and when the kids don't know what their mums do for a job or <laughs> hobbies, they just make things up. It's so funny. I read one of my girlfriends, her son had written something about her having the most beautiful skin he had ever seen and that she was a warrior that would fight anybody for him. But I had no idea what they do for a living. No idea. Do you I know be- what your parents did growing up? Yeah. Just checking. Yeah, no, I knew. Um, hey, uh, the ladies at Baker's Delight on Hampton Street looked like they were going to war yesterday morning, just lining up all the croissants. Oh, yeah. Ready for all the dads coming down to pick them up. For the breakfasts in bed. So we did like a nice little brekkie yesterday morning. Um, mm-hmm. What was up, on the menu? Uh, croissants, pastries, little Portuguese Wait, tarts. did you go out or at home? No, at home. Cute. Did the at home. Cafes on Mother's Day. It's a lot. You don't like people at the best of times. It's, so. it's just, it's up there with airports and you know how I feel about them. I know. So we did like breakfast, breakfast at home. Mm-hmm. Um, then I put the two-year-old down for a sleep. Did the kids make handmade cards? Uh, no. Did they have cards at all? No, they got uh, presents from the Mother's Day shop. Oh, at school? Yep. My friend... Face masks, all that sort of thing. ...son said it was $50 at the Mother's Day stall and the dad was like, oh, gosh, it's got expensive. That's what mine and did. And he did it. Or was it you telling me that story? Yeah, they tried oh. to scare me out of money. <laughs> it was you. I'm like, surely there's a cap. And Felix is like, no, nah, it's 15 bucks per kid. So I went to hand it over the money and then I saw on some email it's like $10. He was giving himself a tip. I'm like, are you right? <laughs> um, so we Smart. did like breakfast and then I took uh, one of the boys out fishing while Lou chilled at home. And then in the afternoon she took the boys to the movies. Right? Oh, great. All three? No, 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 two. And I was yep. at home with the liability, yep. the two-year-old. Yep. So I'm racing around looking after the two-year-old, but mm-hmm. the same token was setting up a nice dinner table because I oh, thought when nice. she gets home... We can have a beautiful family dinner. Exactly. What was on the menu for dinner? I was going to order in nice Japanese. Yeah. Oh, we weren't cooking. Oh, no. <laughs> I was setting the dinner table. Beautiful, nice takeaway. I mean, I love takeaway Japanese. I'm yeah, glad so, you didn't so, attempt to make Japanese. No, no. So I set it all up. You made it sound like you were cooking a Shut roast. Shut up. I had a two-year-old <laughs> going. I cleaned the house. I set up the table and I'm sitting there waiting. Ready to hit order on Uber Eats. <laughs> no sign. Quarter to six. No huh? sign. Six o'clock. 
Nothing. I'm like, they went to the movies four hours ago. Oh, they... Where are they? Did they go out for dinner? They just happened to run into her friend at the movies. Yeah. And all went out for dinner afterwards. So she comes home and finds me sitting alone at the dinner table. I hope you didn't make her feel bad. It's her day. She can do what she wants. Give it le- plans. Let a me know. A little effort on the comms probably. Wouldn't Just it? a little effort on the comms. <laughs> That's all I was after. So where did she go? The food court at Westfield. Heaven. High end, baby. Heaven. I know. It's like a buffet. Yeah, they, they you can sent, have one of everything. They sent me photos saying this is living. Living. <laughs> living. Bit of schnitz, bit of Japanese, some so, dumplings. Best chips at schnitz. Best chips and chips. Um, Hey, happy uh, Mother's Day, though, to uh, all the mums out there. And yes. um, I hope it was a cracking day. It was a beautiful day. Cracking weather. In fact, we had the most beautiful day. My mum hosted Mother's Day. What did you end up getting Lizzie? <sighs> she got a new handbag. Mm. Oh. Because she came to our Nova Mother's Day lunch and she was complaining about her bag she didn't like and she didn't have anything else in that colour. So I was like... Do you girls do that on purpose? I'm Drop starting hints to think she did. To, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Lou does the same thing. Yeah, but we're also lucky enough to have our grandmother, Nana Marg, um, who is 93, and my brother and sister-in-law have just had their first baby, so my grand has just become a great-grandmother. That's cool. So it was, like, it was beautiful. That's really It was nice. so nice seeing her with the little baby. Uh, Jason Lauren with you. Clint's here from the newsroom. Then I look up, you know who's still here? Floating mm. around, Mason Cox and the Pies hasn't left yet. Coxie. Coxie. It, oh, good, eh? It really is. It. <laughs> what, do, what do you got on today, big fella? It's his oh, day, day off, off mate. He's, he's, literally, he's literally spent the day just chilling in the studio. Him yeah. and I going through Instagram. He came in early, <laughs> and then it's his day off, so he's hung out because he's not hungry enough to go and get breakfast yet. <laughs> <laughs> do you it's know what he just early. told me? What he likes riding bu- a bike, mm. like a road bike. Yeah, he was going to. He was going to go do. Yeah. He goes we'll on a penny bike. farthing. Massive, like and he three reaches exercise. bottom. <laughs> penny <laughs> farthing. <laughs> he just jumps on the seat. That's cool. I have a bit. I have actually been to penny farthing festival uh, down in Evansville, Tasmania. Oh my oh, god! Sounds like a hoot. How many penny farthings are going around? There's a guy who rides a penny farthing in. Um, Fitzroy. Oh, you go uh, yeah. that. Yeah, I've seen him down Brunswick Street. That's actually cool. You go to yeah. some random stuff, don't you? I do some random things in this world. You're a bit cooked. You're a bit cooked. In the head? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Have That's you ever why been... he's on our show. We're, we're one <laughs> giant dysfunctional like family. <laughs> Mace, have you ever been to the Kentucky Derby? Uh, no, I've been to Belmont Stakes, though. Is that similar? Uh, Kentucky Derby is probably... A bit more, a bit rougher uh, right. inside, right? Like because you got like inside the ground, everyone goes nuts. Yeah, I saw Shane Crawford was there. Um, it was like last week or two weeks ago. So this is the horse racing in Kentucky, and it's this huge day. I saw Taylor but Swift's no... BF there. Which one? Oh, B- Travis, boyfriend. Travis, I think you meant best you friends. Sorry, <laughs> Travis Kelsey. Yeah, yeah, they're all there, but there's no fence. Like no. they're standing on the track as the horse runs past. There's no fence between the punters and the horses. I was really rattled. You need the fence. Oh, sorry. You, videos, mm. you could see his feet and you could see the horses. Oh. You need to explain this to Clint. When people go to places like Flemington and you're drinking, mm. there are horse races going on. On the track? Oh. Yes, there are actually horses really? there. I yes. Couldn't be- I couldn't believe it. I know you no wouldn't have seen that part, but yeah. Oh. Okay. yeah. It's not just the tent with oh. alcohol. That's um, news to me too, Clint. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think we should. We must go to the we, Kentucky Derby. We must go. go. We must go. Uh, Thank you for being a friend. All right. Getting out of here. Hey, Mace, you want to come shopping with me at Chatty? Yeah, yeah shopping for dinner tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. He's, he's inviting himself around for dinner at my place that's tonight. Right. What are you, you going to cook, big boy? Uh, well, actually, that's, well, we sort of did suggest that we should come around for dinner. Not and tonight. Then Not on a Monday. Felix, Jason's son, mm. called and said, Dad, if you say no to Mason Cox coming over for dinner, I'll never oh. talk to you again. M- Mondays aren't great for me. And then he's so cute. He goes, Could you guys come around early so that I can see you before I have to go to bed? Oh. Yeah. And we said, is Clint coming? He goes, eh. <laughs> we know what Jace did, because Jace is cruel. He said to Felix, yeah, they'll come around. They're coming around tonight, mate, at 8.30. You'll be asleep. Oh, as a joke. Mean. As a joke. Me. If you were to cook uh, a dish, what would you cook? What would I cook? Man, I've gotten into an air fryer, but that's a whole other story. Oh, no, don't. No, don't. No, don't. Uh, I'm don't. off it. Miso salmon is probably the, the thing I would cook. You can come around to my house Jason. with That's why you're not coming around tonight. Let me give you the idea. <laughs> Jason likes salmon. more basic things. Like... What, takeaway? Yeah. Sausages. <laughs> All right. Have Pizza. a great day, everyone. <laughs> Mel is in X. We will see you tomorrow with more on Melbourne's hottest tradie, Jackson. Yes. Enjoy this beautiful day, Melbourne. It is sparkling out there. Get out and get some sunshine. Get your rigs out. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Jason Lauren. Jason Lauren. Wake up feeling good.
100. Jason Lauren. Follow them on socials.